Hi guys, got some aluminum here on the new ball screw setup. Probably going a little too aggressive, I can probably slow it down a little bit. Yeah, probably going a little bit too aggressive. So what I'm trying to do is make the vise. So I'm actually doing the... Uh, uh, My dimensions are off, or the juke goes off. Oh, the chip containment system thing I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I got a few flakes out here on my workbench, but that's mainly coming from the front here. But yeah, the air should, but I have the air is the bloat in the back. Yeah, this actually feels a lot smoother than it actually uh, looks. But I think I'm just too aggressive in the cut, the overlap. Like, it's not the depth of the cut, but it's just the amount of material it's trying to take out. So I think I need to slow that down a little bit, but what's funny is it's a lot more precise than it looks. But, like that edge right there that I'm actually building up right there, I'm cutting into, it's super sharp. Yeah, I mean, if I can get that chatter situation under control, I mean, this is going to be like a mirror-lock finish. Like when it doesn't shatter, it's like a mirror like finish, super smooth, no, can't feel any groove at all. totally new to CNC, so this is like amazing to me. cutting about half, it looks like half the depth of the bit, so. Or maybe I'm not going aggressive enough on the other ones, I don't know. Gotta figure it out. Yeah, I don't know if this had anything, but my leg was a little bit loose on this side. That's why I had the adjustable legs, the felt legs. But when I go back into it, then it kind of chatters. Yeah, way 
right here, and that's why coming from this, when it's coming this direction, it seems to be uh, a lot smoother. So I'm gonna have a lot to learn here. I'll finish this, but I have a theory on why it's actually uh, when it goes from left to right, from this direction to that direction, it's a lot smoother. Like when I'm actually cutting, going from this direction to that direction, it's a lot louder, a lot more shattering. So I'll show you my theory, and I'll bust out my uh, tool to show you that. All right, first piece is done, at least with this new setup. Like the, on my other bolster setup, I had done this piece right here. And the surface finish was super, super smooth. So, what I'm suspecting is because it was actually working fine this way and not good that way, um, that my spindle, my theory is a spindle is not lined 100%. Like it's off in this direction. So what's going on is it's cutting at an angle down that's going across and it's making it want to lift up and chatter. Um, that's just my theory. Then it's going this way so it's kind of cutting into it. Um, as you can tell, let me uh, jog this up here. And right, so, here's piece. You can see it's very mirror like where I didn't get any chatter. And then see that right there? I was getting all that kind of. I mean, it's still pretty smooth, but I, mean, I can always polish this off. This, this was just my first test cut. <coughs> so, what this was originally for, this is supposed to be an aluminum version of that vise. And wow, that's dimensionally accurate. So. I was kind of worried about because when I was converting to different ball screws that maybe the steps will be out, you know, like uh, dimensional accuracy. But uh, yeah, if I cut that little tab off, for some reason it didn't uh, zero correctly, um, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure a little chatter too. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be as accurate as like a 3D printer, but well, we have my 3D printer dialed in. But so my oh, <laughs> getting sidetracked here. So my thought was, my theory was, is that the spindle wasn't straight. So I don't know if you can see, there's a gap. And that, this is just the spindle mount, but I'll, I'll measure down here. Um, but I was suspecting this, the spindle is at an angle going this way. So when it's hitting this way, it's pushing the the spindle up, you know, and then when it's when it's cutting this direction, it's pushing up, but when it's cutting this direction, it's cutting in. So, that's why I think it's actually better in one direction. Alright guys, cool, I'm excited. So I also want to make some carbon fiber parts for this thing too, you know. Um, that was kind of the whole reason in doing this was to do aluminum and, and carbon fiber. Um, and just really, actually just learn tool pass and see if I even like it, because if I actually like this, then I'll probably end up buying like a real CNC machine, some used one or something, like 10 grand or something. Um, but, yeah, so I gotta straighten that out, and then I'm gonna measure it from here, and I also might even just take the bit, bring the bit down, and uh, look at it in the bed to see how it act, even it's on the bed, but, all right, cool. All right, well, all right, so I think I was right. Um, the spindle is, I mean, actually, I mean, I'm even cutting it into my bed just to test it, you know? But as you can see, on the right side of the flute, it's actually cutting in the bed. And the, and the left side, it's not even actually uh, touching the bed. So like I was saying, it's basically crooked this way. So I gotta make it straighten out a little bit here. Um, but if I can get it straight, I don't have any chatter. This thing's gonna be awesome. All right, guys, cool. This is a fun project. Um, pretty much done with it. The containment system worked like it should. I mean, a few flakes here and there, but I mean, can you imagine if this was all over my, my workbench here? Like an insane amount of aluminum flakes. And then when I'm done, let's put them on again.
Hey, all my stuff for this, this uh, CNC machine is uh, on my Thingiverse page. All my everything. Alright guys, cool.